Hey, good people. It is Tashire from Politics and Fashion, and I'm looking at my Roly Girl, and I swear it's about that time. Yes, it is New York Fashion Week, and I am ready to hit the streets of New York. My train leaves Union Station today, Thursday, around 5 p.m., and so I'm about to hop in an Uber and make my way. But before I get in the Uber, let me tell you what to expect from the vlog. I arrived in New York tonight around 8.30 or so, probably just do dinner, have a good time posting up in the city. Tomorrow, Saturday, go time. I am attending multiple shows both days. I'm so grateful for that. If y'all saw my first vlog in February, I got invited to one show. This time I got invited to like five or six. And so God is moving. <laughs> we gang gang. Uh, and I'm, I'm so grateful for that. So I got all of my looks. The team is ready. I have my photographer slash social media content person who is gonna be joining me. Her name is Jasmine of Bloom Teak. Uh, I also have my team, my admin team on ground in Houston ready to help me with all the social. So if you are just now seeing this vlog, you probably have missed so much great stuff on social media. Make sure you are following me, good people, because I am updating everything. TikTok, Instagram, I would say Twitter, but I ain't on that. YouTube shorts, all the things in real time. But most importantly, what I am doing is updating the politics and fashion tribe. Now, the tribe is something that I have been extra, extra excited about. I had this vision about a year and a half, two years ago, about a way to build greater community, greater sisterhood among women in films. Find a way for us to connect off of social media where we can be transparent and vulnerable. All about style, self-care, and social justice. And so it is the Politics and Fashion Tribe. It is a monthly subscription. I will make sure that the link is down below because you're going to want to meet me there. Actually, beat me there, not meet me there, okay? Because if you were watching the vlog for the first time here on YouTube today, you probably have actually missed the exclusive, the exclusive premiere that I dropped in the tribe, as well as a video with me and Janae Hilo Lux, all about the business of being a content creator. So hop on over, we are on Mighty Networks, it is online as well as an app. Trust me, you're gonna have a good time there. In the meantime, let me get out of here. I am notorious for missing flights, for missing trains, for missing the, just the things. Girl, I'll be in a horse and carriage in a, 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 a horse drawn buggy trying to get my ass to New York. So let me get up out of here. But in the meantime, let me show you my travel OOTD. Kicking things off, representing for my house, the House of Comme des Garçons. I am part of the House and Ballroom community of the CDG Pro, which is the professional wing of my house. This is our jacket. On one side, it says Garçon. On the other side, it says my name. I love the Letterman style of it. Got my layered necklaces here, Nike sports bra, Align leggings by Lululemon, the orange, Jordan 1s, same jewelry per usual, hoop earrings, and just an easy train fit for me to make my way to New York. <music> Uh, again, if you have not seen the content until you watch this vlog, get your life. You've missed so much over on the internet, on social media. So we are at a really cute restaurant. I wish I knew the name of it. I'll put it on the screen or in the description box. Um, it's like an Asian fusion spot. We're getting some cocktails and gonna have a good meal and then just ease into the night. Uh, I'll show you all what I am wearing. There's no full mirror in my room, unfortunately, but I'll show you what I'm wearing. Um, and after we have dinner and uh, just settle in, I will see y'all in the morning for the official day one of New York Fashion Week. Good morning, good people. 
We are in New York. Started the day with a little bit of hydration. Ran out, got coffee. Haven't quite had breakfast yet. Um, but I did bring like a bunch of pretty healthy snacks because I knew this was going to be a pretty intense weekend and I didn't want to be out here famished, okay? Uh, and nobody got time for low blood sugar. We don't have time to, to, to do a quick old insulin shot out here. Um, so I uh, am staying, my photographer and I, down in Battery Park, which is a very, very cute area, actually. I remember that I came here years ago because the Brother Veli's shop used to be in this part of town, and so you can actually walk down to the water from here. All the views, all the vibes, um, and it is in this kind of condo-style hotel called The Sonder, and you all may remember that I stayed at a sister property in Miami. Let me just say, I wanna give you all a tour. Um, it is, for the price point, probably one of the best places to stay in the city, especially during a time like this, where things are incredibly pricey. Like, the same hotels that I was staying at over the summer or earlier this year for Fashion Week or when I came for um, the coldest winter ever ball, the price was triple because of this time of year. Um, and so a place like this that may not have all of the true amenities of a real hotel, but at the same time is like a rental that's not an Airbnb, so you do get a little bit more support. It's in the middle, I think is a real sweet spot. Um, my room is a two bedroom, it's, I mean it's a full apartment. I actually rented the one bedroom and they gave me two. Um, you come in the front door, the kitchen is up against the wall, you have a full living area, dining room table, which is where I'm sitting now. Um, you have two bathrooms, one that's over by what would be, I guess, the guest bedroom, and then one that's inside the primary bedroom. I unpacked everything. I actually packed for the trip in packing cubes and kept all my outfits together because that's the best way I can make sure that I wasn't going to forget anything. And so I brought some extra hangers, although I didn't need them, they had plenty. Put all my jewelry up, put all my bags up, put all my shoes up. The closet space is amazing. Um, and I have like an extra large toiletry bag and a new makeup bag that I'll show you all. I will link this on Amazon because it has a whole bunch of compartments, which is so helpful. Um, usually I carry my coach makeup bag, but for this trip, I was like, nah, not my jean because we can't be leaving stuff. Um, and I just kind of want to have all the makeup just in case I need it. Even if it's a color I never wear, I just packed it. Cause you, listen, I'll get caught doing a lot of things. Flipping ain't one of them. Um, so I've been up since probably around 7, 7.30. Just wanted to ease into the day and not be too stressed. Last night, Jasmine and I had a really great dinner at Wish, which is right across the street from the Sonder. It's a couple little cute restaurants over there. I uh, had great cocktails. I had a gin and tonic and then a tequila cocktail, which was extra strong. <laughs> So we like shared the second cocktail. Um, the food was really good. I had Chinese broccoli and pork belly. I would actually go back there again tonight for the same like mixture of a meal. Um, I forgot to show you all what I was wearing, but I will throw some pictures here. Um, it is my Comme des Garcons house jacket that you all saw me wearing on my way here. I have a black short slip dress on. Um, this one I actually just grabbed from, I think, Nordstrom. It's the BP brand. And I have the boots. <laughs> the boots. Those Sparkle Aldo boots with the PVC heel. Honey. Not that they... They are not to be played with, okay? Not at all. Um, we had a good time just kind of flicking it up after dinner and I came here and laid it down. Before we get started for the day, let me show you some pieces that I got from Farfetch. This part of the vlog is a paid for advertisement from Farfetch. You all know that Farfetch is the jam, the one and not the two. I've partnered with them quite a few times. They are a one-stop shop for all the things. They have luxury, contemporary uh, pieces, affordable fashion. And the great part about them is that they partner with designer boutiques or boutiques, stores, big box stores, brands from all across the world. And what that means is that it allows for you to have access to pieces I find early and also in the widest variety of sizes and also across price points and so a few of the pieces that I have today came from 
literally all over the world, which I think is so dope. Shipping was super fast. And although I'm not going to wear every single thing today, I will put video up so you all can see what it's giving. But in the meantime, let me show you what I got from Farfetch. So one of the shows that I am the most excited for, not because I'm going to attend, but because I am going to go and, you know, just post up outside up outside is the Marnie show. I am a big Marnie fan and when I found out Farfetch had Marnie pieces I was super excited because I knew exactly what I wanted to wear. Before I show you the Marnie pieces though I'm going to show you my accessories. I have a new pair of earrings from the brand Natia and Laco. You all would have remembered these from Fashion Week in February. Uh, I had a pair that was very similar and I love those so much until I had to get a second one. As you can see, my hair is extremely low. If it's your first time here, hey girl, hey. This has been my hairstyle for a very long time since having breast cancer. And so for me, I like to have a statement earring because we bald headed, right? Uh, also, y'all about to gag, hold on. So I don't have a white bag. This is my first white bag. And this bag, this bag right here, this bag right here from Jacquemus, it's art. It's a statement piece, right? Does it not give fashion week? And what I love about it is not just that I'm going to wear it like on the shoulder, but I'm also probably gonna just put my hand in it and hold it almost like a clutch. And when I'm tired of doing that, here's the amazing thing. The strap is great because I can throw it on crossbody if I need it to be hands-free. But most importantly, I love the size of it. It fits your essentials and it's so structural and architectural. It just for me feels like the kind of piece that can speak for itself. And I'm wearing it with a number of looks this weekend, but one of them, one of them for sure is going to be the Marnie set. Now you all probably already know that I love me a good old pajama sleeper set. I actually have the daily sleeper pajamas with the feathers on the top and the bottom. Um, I saw this set by Marnie months ago and had my eye on it. And so I was so excited to grab it from Farfetch. It has the button down top with the matte matching pants. I am going to wear this for sure with a scarf around my head for the look, for the look, okay? And I am also going to wear it just with a bunch of layered necklaces and wear it open as well. And so give you kind of a sexy tease, a sexy vibe. The shoes that I'm going to do it with are a pair of white Versace pumps. I have the vision. I have the vision in my head and I am certain that it is going to give. The fabric of the top, it says that it's made from a wool, which for me is so interesting. It must be a very finely knit wool because when I think of wool, I think of um, sweater and that is not at all the, the fabric of this. Um, the top is not lined, but the pants are lined. And what I love about them, because they are a little big, is that the back of them, the waist is gathered. And while it does have a traditional closure, it also has a drawstring. So I feel like they're the kind of pants that will give when you are just trying to be comfortable, but you can also tighten them if you need to. It has the piping around the sleeves, also the bottom of the pants. For reference, I am almost six feet tall and actually very surprised that this was a great length. And so you may need to size down and get them altered to make them shorter. Just something to keep in mind. I got the top in a size 40 and I got the bottom because I was a little nervous in a size 44. Definitely could have done a 42, all right? Um, and that is the Marnie. PJ set. If you're interested in shopping any of these pieces from Farfetch, I will put my code here for you all to enjoy. Any terms and conditions will also be down in the description box. Now, let me beat this face so that I can meet Jasmine and we can get our day started with our shoot. We just finished shooting the first look. Let me talk you through what I am wearing. I am wearing these white kind of retro cat eye sunnies from Amazon. I got on the orange suit from Mango. The blazer is oversized and a micro mini skirt. 
My shoes are by Sinso. Y'all saw those in a Farfetch haul. My new Jock Moose bag, courtesy of Farfetch. And earrings are Natia and Lacko, also courtesy of Farfetch. Let me step back. First look. Drink o'clock doctrine. Just wrapped up the second look. Palm Angels top, area skirt. Jimmy Choo Bings got the Bottega clutch. My eyewear is by Enroda, that is a black owned brand. The earrings I think came from Shop Bob, I do not remember. That is the second look. I am now headed to have a cocktail. We put sprinkled freaking coconut. You better mix that cocktail. You better shake that thing. <laughs> I didn't come here to eat. Where's the cocktail? Where's the, cocktail? Where's, where's the beverage? That's good. That's really good. All right, we are on the go. Uh, hopefully it's not shaking too bad, but we are in New York. Where are we at, sir? What part of town are we in? It's in Midtown, Madison Street. Okay, we're in Midtown and we're headed to where? To the Edison Hotel for a gifting suite is what they call it for a door which is the lingerie show that I'm going to at 8.30. And so they invited a couple people there that are part of like their VIP list to pick out, I'm sure, a few things. And then we are um, going to go back to the hotel, change, shoot one more look, and then I'm wearing that look to the two shows tonight. Adore is one of them. The one right before that is Hold Please. I should tell you that we are using an app called Trip It. I've used this before for swim week. It is everything. If you have like a trip coming up with a group of people or you're like me, you travel for work and you have a lot going on, this application is everything because you even plug in the location and it gives you your distance between where you are. Not sponsored, it's just the one and not the two. So we got Jita O'Meary, their spring summer 2023 runway show at six. And then 8.30 is the Adore Me lingerie fashion show. Let my seat on, hold on. All right, buckled up for safety. Um, <laughs> two shows tonight, shot three looks and the content is going up. Most importantly, my cousin is coming tonight and so we're definitely gonna go out. It's gonna be a vibe, I'm so, so excited. And more than anything, I just had a moment today where I was like, I'm really happy, I'm really happy. And so I'm grateful that I felt that way in real time and not in hindsight because my task, I believe for this week is to, or this weekend, is to be mindful and to be present and so, shot with Jasmine and just felt so good doing what I love and now I get to go pick out great lingerie so let's see what it's given from me and Jasmine but I don't think I got the core strength to get my black ass up there so we didn't do it but we are going to shoot before the Jita O'Meary show <laughs> Jita O'Meary show. Don't know if I mentioned that already. Let me tell you what I'm wearing. I'm wearing this headpiece. It is from Amazon. It's meant to give an area feel without... Thank you so much. 
without the area money, okay? Uh, I am wearing these earrings from Revolve. My top is by area. These pants are old, y'all. They are by Rosie Asulin. They're considered the banana pants, I think. And that's pretty much it because everything else is doing what needs to be done. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much. Bag is the little Valentino bag and I'm gonna step back and get a full body shot. because I um, am still the owner of the Dior book tote that he left at my house. during my New York Fashion Week weekend. Let's do a recap of yesterday, y'all. First, I should say that I woke up, I did my skincare routine. I have been sticking very true to my Glow Aesthetics products, uh, the face wash, the moisturizer, and the sunscreen, specifically. And I also used an all-natural toner by Josh Rosebrook with my Shiseido cotton pads. I hate to be that person to come on the internet and talk about cotton pads because I understand it is serious things happening in the world. But hear me out. A good, a good soft, a good soft cotton pad will change your life. Uh, so I'm gonna recommend those Shiseido ones and they will be linked down below. Um, and so did the skincare routine. I didn't realize that there was actually a, a coffee here. So, I'm sorry, that's my team trying to reach me. Un momento. Morning, yeah, everything is going to YouTube. Sorry if I missed. Oh, you know what it is. We'll say that's what it is, Cash. All right, I am back. So, 
did the skincare regimen. I don't remember exactly what I was saying, but, um, oh, made coffee. We have coffee in the apartment. And I said, let me sit down, check in with my people, and also recap, as I mentioned, yesterday. So yesterday, we shot two looks, um, really, I think three, but we shot two in the morning up on the rooftop and also in the street. You all would have had some footage of that um, in yesterday's recap. And then I ran from where I am, which is Battery Park, and went kind of like midtown, downtown area to go to the Adore Me gifting suite. And let me show you some of the pieces that I got from them. First, Adore Me is a lingerie brand. Um, their show, which I will talk about in a bit, was definitely one of the best ones I've been to in a very long time. And so they invited certain content creators to come and pick up some pieces from the brand. They are a size inclusive brand. The models definitely represented body positivity. And they also pride themselves on sustainability. And so actually, the black robe that I am wearing today with the um, jumper underneath is from them. The jumper is a little short. It's, it's kind of giving only fans, so I can't show you that while I'm wearing it because the way everything is set up on me. But know that it's cute, and I also love the robe. It's kind of like mid thigh, okay? Now, some of these pieces that are in here are so sexy. And I'm the kind of person that doesn't feel like you have to have a partner to wear lingerie. I definitely feel like you can be sexy just for yourself. In fact, you should be sexy just for yourself. I think uh, it starts there as far as pleasure is concerned. Because if you can't feel sexy in your body just because of who you are, then guess what? You're not going to be able to turn it on when you have an audience. I'm not saying a paying audience. I know I just talked about OnlyFans, but I'm just saying like when you're with a when you're with a partner, when you would when you with the sneaky link, all right. By the time you get there and it's go time, if you haven't already tapped into your sexy, you you're not going to be able to like operate at peak performance. All right, so having lingerie for yourself is what, in my opinion, is very, very important, especially as we age. I'm at a big age and continuing to be, how do we get to this TED Talk? We're at a big age and continuing to be in tuned with my body and my sexy is one of the most important things and lessons I think I have learned at 40. With all of that said, adore me. This goes around the thigh. This anchors the thigh meat. Girl, I put that thing on last night and got mad at myself. I said, whoa, look at the bag. It's giving sponsor. I'm not even gonna lie. It is that's giving sponsor. Let me show you a set that I have that is absolutely amazing from them. So this is a the panties in purple. Ooh, I just realized that they're kind of crisscrossed in the front. And I think you can probably wear these with two bras. One is the, ooh. <laughs> this is a dangerous. It looks like this goes across the top of the boob. Oh, that is so good. That is so good. Or you can wear it with this, and this is a push-up. I got a 32D bra. I probably could have done a 34, but I think for like the push-up factor, the 32 works. Let me show you the straps on this push-up. I've never seen a bra like this with mesh straps. That's actually amazing. Another 90. And this one actually is a thong in the back. And the last thing I'll show you is this very, very pretty teal bra. I actually have already tried this on and the way this thing pushes everything up, up high, high, high is amazing. And here are the matching panties. Thanks to Adore Me for uh, inviting me to their gifting suite and to their show. 
I did that around two o'clock or so. Uh, came back here, got dressed in my final look, which was the headpiece with the area shirt and the turquoise pants. If I haven't already mentioned it, y'all, every single thing is going to be linked down below that I wear this weekend. And so we left there, we went over to, after shooting, the Jita O'Meary show. Uh, that show was also size inclusive. Every single look, um, two models came down the runway. One was kind of what would be considered a traditional sizing maybe, like below a size 10, and then one was more like 12 and above, uh, which also is average sizing. Uh, but again, what I am noticing is that there's this theme around size inclusivity and body positivity. The designs themselves were conservative, more conservative than I personally am but it was still nice to see the bright colors, the bright patterns. I thought that it was a great first show for me. Um, just again, kind of making sure that that theme of size inclusivity was there. I definitely think that there is an audience for that. I'm not quite it, no shade, no tea. Uh, but I was happy to be there and grateful for the opportunity, especially again, because of the size inclusivity. So then we grabbed something to eat really quick. I grabbed a cocktail, obviously. Cocktails with the Rich Auntie. Thinking about this new series on, uh, on IG. Because if you didn't know, one thing I do is have a beverage. I'm going to have me a beverage, all right? So we got grabbed something to eat, had a good cocktail, and then we uh, went to the Adore Me show and the production by Planet Fashion TV, and I've gone to their shows before during Miami Swim Week, was impeccable. It was at the Edison Ballroom, Broadway area. I was really impressed. Um, and I had a front row seat and saw all of the models come down the runway. I love a fashion show where the models are hype. Like if you're not having fun, why are we here? Why, why are we here? And I understand that for certain high fashion brands, you gotta be like stoic and hungry and depressive. Like, I get it, but that's not my vibe. That's not my mood. Girl, do you need a granola bar, some trail mix? Like, what is this? It's the emaciation for me. And so I just want everybody to be happy. You know, I don't know if we need to unionize the models. I don't know. But I just, I, I want everybody to be happy because it is art and it is an amazing experience. And sometimes art, you know, is meant to have all the feels, but that's not what this was. And as soon as the first model came down, she set the tone so well. Um, definitely models of color, different heights, different sizes, different races, different things in the thing. And the, it was so good. It was fun. I felt like it was fun. So Adore Me did that. Actually, the brand's founder came out and greeted everyone and gave like a real speech about the background of the brand, which I also loved. Um, so I think I found outside of Understance, which is, you know, one of the brands that support this platform and they're my friends up in Canada. But outside of Understance, I think I found my next favorite lingerie brand for sure. So that is a recap of yesterday. Let's talk about, oh girl, the most important thing. Bernard came last night. He came last night with the with the Dior book toast slander. He did because yes, I brought it because it was at my house. We've already established this. It's mine now. It's mine now. So my cousin pulled up on me and we went out last night and had a drink. We were down in the village. We stopped by the bodega. Got a Philly cheese steak. <laughs> I'm just having fun on this trip, y'all. I'm just literally having fun. Yes, it's work because you all are watching me and as a professional content creator, that's what I do, but it's also fun. And I should say as a reminder that if this is your first time seeing any of this content, you late, sis, you hustling backwards. Where you need to be is the Politics and Fashion Tribe where we have exclusive content that is dropping as we speak behind the scenes of New York Fashion Week and obviously more exclusive content to come beyond this weekend. Today I'm shooting with Jasmine. Our call time is 10. It is 9.29. I'm not going to make that because uh, I need to beat this entire face, girl. I'm just shooting one look though, so I'm good. And then we are going to head to shows at 12 and at 2. The 2 o'clock show I really, wanna, really, really want to go to is the Primark show, but it's all the way in Brooklyn. And I'm just kind of like, do I feel like going to Brooklyn? 
I love Brooklyn, don't get me wrong, and it could be a cute little vibe for today, but I don't know if I feel like going to Brooklyn. So, we'll see. Um, and uh, after that, it's, it's just go time. I think I have a, a 12, a two, two, like multiple twos, a four, a six, a 7.30, and then a nine. Not that I'm invited to the show, but as I mentioned, I'm trying to go out and post up in front of Marnie. So, all the things. All, all the things today and that's why it's important that I started off with some coffee and got some healthy snacks breakfast bar this one is called the Olira bar it's five grams of plant-based protein four grams of fiber three breakfast biscuits yeah and this is the hazelnut Kara flavor so I'm going to wolf this down make sure that I have something on my stomach while I am doing my makeup for the day and I will check in with y'all a little bit later. All right, y'all, let's get up out of here. I am actually wearing the same outfit that I shot yesterday just to get all the content out the way, okay? And also to the Adore Me um, gifting suite. But I'm putting it back on today for the early shows that I'm switching outfits at least once, maybe twice, all right? <laughs> Trying to get all my looks in. I am wearing the earrings from Revolve. I haven't already told you. Palm Angels tee. It's a crop tee. Skirt is by area. I'll try to back up to see if you can see the whole look if you haven't already already shoes are by Jimmy Choo they are the bings okay um about to get up out of y'all I think there's somebody at the door telling me it's time to go <laughs> I'll see you good morning <laughs> designer collective show I know it's super loud in here but we are at cook shop uh, you already know what time it is for me it's cocktail o'clock what it's given period and I have somebody search who doesn't want to be on camera I'm gonna give you like a real quick sneak peek and then you're gonna see him again later but if you have been liking my fashion week looks it's because of this person hold on <laughs> that's my little that's my little Xavier Amad wait for it to try to my only thing. <laughs> Just stopped in Taguchi after leaving Celine. It's a moment. I mean, you can never go wrong with a Gucci loafer. I'm yeah, put upset. Put your phone away. You know the security here is on that bullshit. <laughs> Can't really talk. Security is on one. Um, we are actually about to head back to our hotel very soon. Just popped into Soho to do a little bit of shopping. All right, so we just made it to the very tail end of the Albright College show. We missed it, unfortunately, but we are here at the venue. We actually were here for the Gina O'Meary show yesterday. I'm sure you all cannot hear me, but let me show you the outfit of the night. It is the Marnie two-piece DJ set, wearing Versace on the heels, Jacquemus bag, Hermes scarf, Amazon sunnies, high love, okay? Natia and Zacho earrings, the earrings, the bag, and the set are all from Scarfetch, part of my collab. Many thanks to 
carpet. Welcome to Sunday of Fashion Week. Don't get me to line about what day it is because I always mess that up, all right? We just know that it's the next day God is good all the time. And somebody better say all the time, God is what? Good. Um, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm a little extra this morning. I mean, I'm always a lot because I've had a lot of coffee and I've had no sleep. <laughs> but we're making the thing do what the thing is supposed to do. And so this is the last look that we are gonna be shooting today. And it's also my last day in New York for Fashion Week. It is almost 9 a.m. Jasmine and I are gonna flick it up a little bit. shooting this morning with Jasmine. Round of applause for her and the Maloon Teak. If you loved what you saw over on social media and on my shorts, that's all Jasmine. So you need to go down to the description box. And if you were looking for a photographer or a videographer, check her out. Right now we are at brunch at the Smith in Soho. Uh, got my hairs with me. You already know what this one is giving. You already all right, okay, then I got my other hitter with me. <laughs> Y'all saw him yesterday. So, I think I mentioned yesterday that, like, all my looks, I had pieces, but I didn't really know how to put them together. I reached out to Xavier, uh, OCD, Doc, XAV. I put it on the screen right here, okay? And he helped me to pull everything together. If you love what I was wearing, then you need to hit him up for image consulting services. His info will also be down in the description box. But I also really want you to see him because he's fine. So just keep watching. Stick with me, kid. Stick with me, all right? Uh, and I'm about to actually go pull up on Janae in a minute, but let's have brunch first. Socks, of course, always important. Uniqlo. Trousers, vintage Alexander Wang. Period. Well, our legacy top. Yeah. You know of course. Slight. Okay. It's gloomy, sad, gloomy Sunday. I love it. All black. All black like the omen. 
just finished brunch. It was amazing. We are about to flick it up real quick before I pull up on Janae. If you are part of the tribe, then, well, I mean the politics and fashion tribe, of course, the paid community, then you will likely see the video that we are about to shoot all about the business of content creating there. Not in this video, but in the tribe. Of course, it will be linked down below. we are going live thank you for joining over in the politics and fashion tribe and if you're part of Janae's community then you have seen this live in real time let's get it I'm so excited cheers, cheers. <laughs> and that is a wrap y'all I hope you enjoyed the video with Janae hello Lux I'm sure you are already following her but if not her handles all across the internet will be linked down below. I feel like the conversation was a dynamic. I have learned so much from Janae. The ways in which my platform have grown since meeting her is really a manifestation of the advice that she has given to me. And so I definitely recommend being a part of her paid community here on YouTube. It's all about the business of content creation and obviously to also join my tribe so you can see the video from today. In the meantime, girl, we pulled up at her hotel and my suitcase just busted wide open. The whole thing just busted open. And I knew it was on like its last leg, but I thought it was gonna at least get me home and that is not what happened. So thank God I had my cousin here. He went and got me a suitcase. He has subsequently quit. He says he's not interested anymore in a volunteer position with politics and fashion. I understand, it's, it's, it's been a lot this weekend. Fernard, would you like to say anything to the vlog before we leave? I do not. You don't want to say anything at all? No, ma'am. Please get the camera off of me. Thank you. Okay. Well, it's going to be a long train ride home. Uh, and we are headed to, uh, what's that, Union Station? We're headed to Penn Station to hop on our train back home. I hope you have enjoyed all of the Fashion Week content. Of course, Behind the Scenes was available in the tribe, as I have mentioned. <sighs> Anything that you have not heard me talk about will, of course, be linked down below, especially the outfit of the days. Thank you to Farfetch for sponsoring a portion of this video. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel, and I will see you good people across the internet. Peace.